Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Underground Toys action figure of Sherlock Holmes from the BBC series Sherlock. And the packaging opens up to reveal like Watson and Sherlock inside with a little quote, and you can see the uh, figure and all of his stuff in there. Now, I love the TV show Sherlock, and I've been hoping that since they're made by the same network as Doctor Who, and it's the same executive producer, that maybe we'd get a 5-inch Sherlock action figure that's in line with the Doctor Who figures. So you can imagine I'm pretty happy that this figure has come out. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I mean, I think that looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. This isn't like a high-end figure or anything like NECA or Hot Toys. This is uh, a more basic 5-inch scale figure, but for what this series has been doing with Doctor Who and stuff, I gotta say, this looks like Benedict Cumberbatch. Like, you could see his cheekbones, his eyes, his nose, like his mouth, it all totally looks like him. The shape of his head, the profile, his hairstyle, like, I think this turned out great. As did the details of his outfit, like the scarf, the coat, uh, you know, the hint of his jacket peeking out underneath the overcoat. It's a good looking figure. Now the articulation on this figure is just the same basic articulation as every other Doctor Who figure where you've got the uh, joint at the shoulder, you've got the hinge at the elbow, you've got a bicep cut, and you've got a wrist cut. And then you've got the mid torso cut. Uh, the legs go forward and back and out side to side with a mid thigh cut and then a single knee joint and that's it. There is no uh, swivel at the uh, shoe for this one unlike some of the other figures. So the, below the knee, you got no other choices here. But the uh, the mid thigh cut does help stabilize the figure perfectly, and the the the, the feet are flat and even, so that works. Um, now there's some really good details in this figure, like the buttons are so well painted. Like you can even see the little black line where the the string sewed the buttons on, and also the little red lines going down not only the outside of the coat but the inside of the coat. And the scarf looks good. Uh, you can see like the edge of his suit coat right there poking out from the, uh, the, the outer coat. And uh, man, I think just the texture of his coat is really, really well textured. It's made of like a soft kind of rubbery kind of material, uh, but the sleeves are a harder plastic, but the textures match, so that's great. Also, the way the fabric kind of hangs and wrinkles is really, really well done, I think, as far as sculpting fabric goes. And not just wrinkles, but the overall shape of someone underneath it. Like, you get a sense of, like, his shoulders and everything in here. So I think that's really, really great work. Um, oh, I should mention the articulation on the head does, uh, there is no ball joint. It's just side to side. It's kind of limited because of the scarf. But it does look really good as far as having his head being able to pivot side to side. Like, it's fine. Now, he comes with a few accessories, including this skull, which has kind of a little wash to it. And some of the wash ends up with these big brown dollops. Uh, so if you care about big globs of paint on the skull, be on the lookout for that. Uh, his violin looks really good. I mean, the front is painted fairly basically, but it's a nice sculpt. But the back has this little light brown wash to it. Gives it more of a wooden effect. That little silver paint in there is a nice little touch. As is the bow. It's a very basic little bow, but, you know, it works. It's really soft, so be careful. And then he's got this tiny little cell phone, which... Uh, well, there you go. It's unpainted, but you can see the little buttons at the bottom. I'm pretty happy that the figure can hold the bow and the violin quite easily. I was a little concerned because his left hand does look kind of like a traditional trigger finger hand, but it holds the violin perfectly. Now, if you're out hunting for this and you're, you're neurotic about paint like I am, the only thing I would recommend you be on the lookout for is his eyeball paint. Sometimes the white paint that I saw was huge and like blood onto his cheeks, and the hair paint right there by his forehead can get a little wonky and bleed onto the forehead. If you care about that sort of thing, that's the only thing you need to be on the lookout for. Most of the ones I saw were in really good condition in the store when I saw them. So I think uh, hunting for this figure should be easy. And also, just in general, this figure turned out really well. Like, the paint is really clean. The sculpt is great. It's a great looking Sherlock figure. It's a good likeness. Uh, I am very satisfied with how this turned out. I imagine if you're a Sherlock fan, you, you would be satisfied too. Thanks for watching.